All right, so in this example, I'm going to talk about the Power BI app for Android. Uh, so this app is uh, basically allowing you to interact uh, with your Power BI tenant. This is not a creation tool, but it is basically a consumption tool. So you can connect to the data uh, that is available or uploaded on the Power BI servers. Right? So you can just skip or you can just click on get started down at the bottom and then you have to uh, just type in uh, the username and uh, your tenant name. Just going to do that. And just sign in and uh, type in the password as well. So once that is done, just hold on. So it's all set. You can check on and check some miscellaneous information or telemetry information that you're going to send back. So it logs you in directly into my workspace and you can actually go ahead and and uh, log into existing uh, reports that has already been published. For example, data from CRM online. Uh, it's coming from a tenant from CRM. And then you can take this to a single tap. It opens this up. And you can apply some filters. You can use the share button. Uh, it shares the data across. So, um, and then you can annotate on the screen as well if you wish. So, you can change the color of which you want to use. So, I'm just going to use uh, maybe the red and the brush and say wins. And then you can also type in some stuff like type in some words or something and then you can say done and you can click on the share button. Now it takes a snapshot though so anybody uh, or any application rather which allows you to uh, send snapshot this will allow you to do that. Uh, so you can send it to Dropbox or any of the uh, application that you wish. Now once you have shared, you can also go directly into the actual report. It goes to landscape mode and it takes you directly into the report just like you would uh, when you were interacting this on a desktop or a laptop computer and it takes you directly into the actual report. All right. so in this case I'll just close this out and go back here. <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's say, for example, if you go to Olympics data sample, you tap in the report, and then you tap in the, the actual file from where the data is coming, and it takes you inside that Excel file, like you see here. So, that's about it. So, you just go in, you can still apply filters, and undo that. So, it's pretty much interactive uh, within this. It's basically the browser with full functionality. So uh, you don't get the uh, option to uh, set alerts, right? Or uh, anything like, for example, if data goes beyond a threshold, you get yourself notified or something. Those options are not there. But you do get an option to uh, go to uh, the group samples or basically groups where you need to collaborate with multiple people so you can keep a check on how your teammates are working on a particular report or subject. So that is also possible. All right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.